Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to my Factorio series episode 17. So today's really exciting episode. I know I say that every time, but specifically today because I'm actually going to show you a little bit of what I had been doing uh, and where I've come in a week's time. So a week ago, this was my master plan. This is, this, is, this is what I came up with for doing electronic circuits. Now, let me just go over this really quickly so that you guys kind of understand it. So, as I said, you need three copper wire factories for every two electronic circuits. So that means that one, one copper wire factory will work perfectly and fill up... Uh, well, well, you can have one copper wire factory for one electronic circuit, another copper wire factory for another electronic circuit, and then the other one needs to be split in half. So how do you get it split in half? Well, there's a couple ways to do this. Keep in mind, this was a week ago, right? And I figured out all this stuff on my own. I didn't check other YouTubers and stuff like that. And uh, so you don't go, oh, I can't believe you didn't know that. Well, of course, if you're trying to figure this stuff on your own, you learn things in a different way. Everybody learns things in a different way. So this, is, this was my first iteration. And actually, I kind of like this one now coming back to it a little bit um, for another reason. But I've actually improved it. Um, but I also like it because it actually has some storage too. But anyway, so this last copper wire factory, we need to split in half. So this one, uh, you'll notice it's got uh, three uh, blue inserters leaving the factory, going into three chests, and then into another three chests, so just to bring it down. And then these guys, so one will split this way, and one will go this way, and then the other one is split in half this way. So... This was pretty good, and then I realized, well, I don't need to have this one sticking out. And the other thing that's interesting about this is I've got its own feed for all of the, uh, all of the, so the copper, the copper plates, and it's each, each of these factories have their own feed for the uh, metal plates as well. Um, but I, I did, I did, I made some changes, and I upgraded it a little bit um, with another game that I've been playing. <laughs> uh, I have I've many on the go, just uh, trying different, interesting, unique things. Look at how well spaced out I am now compared to the current game that I'm playing. But this one, uh, this one, this one is actually way, early. it's really dark here, I apologize. This one's uh, pretty early on compared to uh, the last game that you just saw, so it doesn't quite have all of the fanciness. But the, the basic layout, the design is as I want it. And, of course, we're going to have to do something different with... Now, with the power lines, of course, once we get the uh, next level of power lines and stuff like that, but um, this, is, this is essentially the same thing, but condensed. And you'll notice in the, where it comes to feeding in the copper, it's all nice and even. It's, it's, it's like doing another uh, main bus... Uh, you treat this just like another main bus. So 25% of everything on the line goes here, 25% goes here, and the last goes here. So everything is fed evenly. And the same goes with the uh, metal plates. Everything is fed evenly. And it's fed on the side instead of the bottom. And then, of course, it's made down here so that uh, it's even on the belt. I, I don't know. I like it. I really like it. And it's really efficient. You'll notice everything's running really slowly here because I'm having power problems and also about the, all sorts of other stuff. Now, of course, this is designed so we treat it as one single unit. If we need to add on to it and make more, we can just tack on another one. Right. Okay, so now let's go back to our game. And we're going to talk about why we're making this change and why it's so important. Uh, let's go. Uh, uh, where are we? <laughs> right. This is YouTube. Yes, we are, we are on YouTube. Okay, so... This is our current game. This is uh, this is this is my love. I love this game. This is an amazing game. But I mean, look at look at how cramped in we are compared to some of the games I'm playing right now. Now, actually, this this cramped in version that of the factory that we built here is actually not terrible when we start getting into robots and stuff because we the robots have a limited amount of space and that means we won't have to build as many of their little hubs. So that's kind of good. Now let's talk about what we have here and why it's maybe not as good. So let's. First off, let's, when you hit P on the keyboard, this brings up your production all throughout your factory. So it can tell exactly how many copper cables I'm producing per minute. Uh, well, it's an average, right? I mean, it kind of fluctuates up and down. It depends on what's happening in the factory, you know, whether or not there's power problems. There's so many different factors here. It's, you know, you can't read this as gospel. Well, this is exactly what my factory produces because if we were clogged up somewhere on the line... Uh, which we're not. So this is probably pretty accurate. I'd say between 160 and 180 is probably what we're producing for electronic circuits. And that's pretty crappy. Considering we have 10 factories working on this whole project. Now, in my defense, uh, 
the copper wire is also providing copper to our uh, advanced circuits. So we're going to have to change that as well. Uh, what we need to do actually is add, <laughs> somehow figure out how we're going to add a copper wire factory right here. And that cop one copper wire factory will supply uh, up to eight advanced circuit factories. So that's, that's just something I learned from another YouTuber. Um, specifically, I think it was... Uh, uh, that, uh, what's his name? Negative Root. Negative Root uh, came and did a fix it on my factory, and it's on his channel actually. So check that out. Um, but he he pointed out that uh, one uh, one he has pointed out that one copper wire factory is enough to supply eight advanced uh, advanced elect advanced electronic circuits uh, advanced circuits. Sorry, <laughs> supply eight advanced circuits factories. So we can we can actually do that. And having these copper wire go all the way down, it's, it's kind of pointless, and it takes up space, uh, valuable space that we could be using for some, something else. So this, we have 10 factories trying to do this, or nine, so four copper wire factories, and uh, so we're, we're going to tear this apart right now. Now, there's, there's a bunch of other things that I want to do this episode. I don't know if we're going to have time. I never have time. Time is my enemy. I also want to get our power armor up and running, because we actually have it available and ready to go, and go test that out, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So let's start tearing this apart. I'm going to fast forward it. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Now, most of the factory is down and not operating right now. Actually, let's, uh, I was gonna leave it unpowered. That way we're not producing any pollution. That way for sure we won't get, get interrupted unexpectedly. But uh, uh, yeah, we might as well, we might as well power up. Uh, I wanna be sure that the oil systems keep running because that's just a waste of time otherwise. Um, so I know that's, looks terrible, but we're gonna fix that. Okay, so let's get started. So. You'll notice, you'll remember in the, in the games that uh, I showed you guys, I was actually building the the little setup outward. So I would build one here and then build one here. And each one can, comprises of five factories. So that's three copper wire and two electronic circuit. So I could build one here and one here. But I'm not going to do that with this one. I think I have enough room to do one here and one here. But we're going to start with one and see if we can't even match or exceed what we had with all ten of those factories with only five. That's, so that, you know, working out the efficiencies on your own, uh, you know, I, I think somebody had commented on, on, one of, on one of my videos saying, I can't believe you didn't know all this stuff. Well, you know what? Um, I, I don't have enough time. Uh, I mean time. We were just talking about time. I don't have a lot of time to go and uh, watch all other YouTubers. And that's not an excuse. It's, it's just, it's just a, a fact. I, I don't. I'd much rather sit down and play. And normally I would much rather sit down and play anyway. That's just just how I roll. I, it's, it, it just means so much more when you figure these things out on your own. So um, I, I had a lot of fun just uh, exploring and trying to figure out... Uh, oh, okay. I see. That was all attached here. Sorry, I, I, I forgot about something. Yeah, that, that there was an old line here somehow attaching to these uh, steel... Uh, steel... Um, Oh, ah, what do you call them? Ah, furnaces, electric furnaces. Uh, first, I must, I had an alternate line bringing in iron for some reason. Okay, so yes, overlapping. Oh God. Okay, I can't, I can't leave that. I can't because it's just, it's too blatant. Oh, whoops. Okay, let's just uh, move that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at look at all these power lines. I've got to fix all this stuff, and I will fix all this stuff. It's just uh, <laughs> it's not going to be right this minute. Okay, so uh, now with that in mind, we are going to this. I think this will be a. Uh, we could probably even bring that up more. We know exactly how much room this is going to take, so it's not like later on down the road we're going to be like, oh, we're going to need more room for this. Uh, so I think I think we're pretty safe to. Yeah, we'll we'll leave that. That's uh, that is our little tiny buffer for steel. Okay, so with that in mind, I think we can keep things. Well, uh, should we? We, we kind of settled with a spacing uh, jig here. So we we originally said we we're gonna do one, two, three, four. So that means it would come out here. Now, if we did that, let's just check our spacing to see if we would have enough room to even do two full sets of them. I think we would, but I don't know. So let's just see here. So uh, that'll be one. And then two, and then there'll be 
this here, and then I think another one here. Well, I don't think we'll have enough room, to be honest with you, to do two full two, two full layouts. Uh, well, let's let's squish it up because, like I said, I'm gonna really squish it up so that it's nice and close to that to the steel furnaces. And you know, I wouldn't do that if I didn't know exactly how much space eventually I'm gonna need for something. But I'm pretty sure I know. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna take up any more space than than uh, than what. Uh, what we're about to do. Okay, so let's uh, let's bring that like so, and I guess we could bring it in here and just leave one row of space like that. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, like it's oop dot dot. Don't start bringing stuff down the line quite yet. Uh, so, and we want to be sure that we've got our. Whoops. <laughs> we've got we've got more than enough factories now for the first ones here. And actually, what we're going to do... Yeah. Let's put this right on our belts. Okay. So, this one, because we're going to treat the, these like little buses, like you saw in that second factory that I built. Um, that way, uh, you, you, all your factories are getting access to the materials that they need. You don't have to worry. So, in other words, this factory will have access to copper and then the next factory which will be one space over and then the next factory will be one space over this one will be one down this one will be one down like so and uh, every single piece that you're seeing here is important i i've spent a lot of time trying to figure out whether or not something else needs to be removed because you know sometimes it's it's about removing all the parts that just aren't necessary and i did like having the extra space in here and having the extra copper containers uh just in case you know kind of acting as a buffer but it, it's it's totally not necessary and and uh when when you're talking about just being efficient uh, oh that's is that right hold on i i have to sometimes i have to think in terms of uh inserters yeah that's that's wrong so i i like to have the splitter oh no that's right that's totally right that's totally right that's totally right yeah and so is that okay perfect perfect Good, good. And then there's enough room to put uh, three inserters on every single one of these, and still they all have access to copper. Pretty spiffy, eh? <laughs> and we don't need... Oh, we're full. Okay, uh, just pause one second. I'm going to go clear my inventory. Okay, that's that's better. I just All, all I did was get rid of the, the, the wood that I had in my uh, inventory. There we go. So now we've got enough room to pick up stuff if necessary. Uh, X, let's go... Four. Okay, so let's start adding all the inserters. So now, like I said, these will be... Uh, oh, ah, do we not? I think we have the uh, new fangled fancy schmancy assembling machine threes. Ha 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 ha. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so what we can do with that is... Uh, let's start building those. Oh, okay, speed modules. Ah. Okay, well, that's fine. Normally, I would build these speed modules in a factory, but I'm not going to bother we're just gonna let these build while see how long it takes that's why you build you build these speed modules in a factory just like the uh efficiency modules you build those in a factory and then and then you build whatever you need to build or whatever right so uh, building it like this takes a long time so we got one two three four five okay so we'll just let those build in the meantime we will use these as placeholders so each one of these is going to be uh, okay, so these are copper. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, and copy those over. So, uh, like I said, three for two. So these ones are going to be electronic circuits. Now, let's make sure these three inserters. So now, like, th each one of these factories can take one and a half of the contents of these factories. So. They, this one will fully supply this one, this one fully supply this one, and these two need to share what this one has to offer. So to do that, we're going to go... Now, there's more than one way to do this. I like this because I get a little bit of a buffer here, too, as well. And it seems to work pretty flawlessly doing it this way. Oh, I did... I modified it on the last iteration, I think. I did something like this. Pretty sure I did something like this. Yes. Yes. That way... Um, because, and the reason I did that, the reason I used the red inserter rather than the blue inserter here and blue inserter here um, is because the red inserter only uses 18 kilowatts of power 
whereas these use 31.5 kilowatts of power. power. It's pretty substantial. So using the red inserters over the blue inserters um, when you don't need the speed is, is, is a good thing to do. So this way, uh, the red inserters are taking care of that last half. So uh, the blue inserter here. So they get, this one gets its half from here and whatever's left in this box, this one gets its half from here and whatever's left in this box. I hope that all makes sense. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. I, I, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, and then we have our three exit inserters. <laughs> exit inserters, that doesn't make sense. Um, so there we go, there's that. And then we have to figure out um, our how we are getting our iron. Oh, that's tight. Oh man. I think, I think we needed to bring the whole thing over one. Uh, well, we could try it. I don't think that's going to work because, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll work. That'll be fine. Okay, so they get their materials on the side like so. And you want to make sure that they have at least two inserters, if not three, bringing in the steel as well. Or the uh, iron as well. Two I've found is fine. Two inserters for, for iron is fine. Uh, but you do need at least two. Um and I don't think the three really makes a difference. So we'll go like that. And uh, let's just kill this old setup. Yes, yeah, so we got... We, we got all sorts of random uh, splitters all over the place. This is, this is great. I, I think Timmy, Timmy Carbine had mentioned that one day. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't fix it. It's, you know, it's just... It's, sometimes you just got to go back and, and clean up your mess. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know... You know, you're messy. Right, there we go. There's that, and actually I need to do add an inserter, or a splitter here, and we can remove this one, because it's not necessary, like that. And let's get rid of this. And I think we're gonna bring in, I guess I should've just not rebuilt everything right away. So, okay, so we don't need that one either. There we go, perfect. And there we go. All right, now, so, uh, I guess I didn't need to remove that. <laughs> I know, I, I get I get ahead of myself. Okay, so that, uh, because we're gonna do this like a, uh, like a main bus on the bottom as well. Oh, we're missing one. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so the main bus on the bottom as well. So that means we're gonna have well, let's do our exits first. Okay, that, that'll be easier. Okay, so they're gonna be dropping off the goodies. Then we're going to rebalance the goodies back onto the belts. Whoops, it's gotta be one further like so. That way, all of the electronic circuits, so they will place them on the side closest to me on this side, and then they'll go around, go on the other side. And that way, in the end, they'll be fully balanced on the on the outtake. Okay, and then this, uh, let's see here. <laughs> uh, let's go like that. And we're going to do a split here. Right, like so. Excellent. Excellent. And then rebalance, and then we're going to split again. Nope, H here. There we go. Ah, see, that's why I had it down further that one time. I don't think it's gonna be that important actually to do the splits with the iron or to do like a full main bus. Now, if we were going outwards this way, I would say yes, go the main bus all the way out. In other words, do the proper splitting so you're doing 25% off of each. Um, but because we're going down, I wanna be able to fit another whole bank of this right here. I, I don't think we're gonna do that. I don't think it's necessary actually. We're not gonna bother with this nonsense. Um, we can still do the one split, I guess. I guess. But actually, it's... Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, we only need... Yeah, that's right. We just do the one. Perfect, just like that. And then we can just go up under the line. Under the line, like so. Haha. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It is an absolutely beautiful thing. There we go. Just like that. All right. So there is 
I think the basics of our new system. Let's get our new. F so these assembling machine threes, let's talk about them really briefly because we actually have not used them in this game yet. These machines are, we'll talk about their speed. So they operate at 1.25 crafting speed versus, well, the assembling machine ones operate at 0.5. So these operate at 75% no, sorry, 125% faster. 150% faster than this machine. Yes, they operate 150% faster than the assembling machine one, and they operate at 75%, uh, almost, yeah, 75% faster than the assembling machine two. They're, they're substantially faster. Now they do use a ton more power, so a regular one will use, uh, 210 kilowatts, whereas a assembling machine two will use 150, and a small one, assembling machine one, will use 90 kilowatts. So quite a bit of difference in power usage, and this will produce slightly more pollution. Uh, oh, actually, it produces less pollution than an assembling machine two. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. But we are going to use, of course, our efficiency modules. Now, the nice thing about these machines, and what's really interesting about the assembling machine threes, is you've got four slots. So on the assembly machine, two machines, you only have two slots. That means you're really limited as to what you can put in there. Assembling machine three, if we had the advanced efficiency modules, you, we could put some like a couple advanced and a couple of something else in here to make this machine do different things, maybe work faster or produce uh, produce uh, produce bits from nowhere. You know, like uh, produ the productivity modules actually allow you to produce uh, more stuff using less stuff so which is really interesting the speed module allows you to produce faster and of course the efficiency module uh increases the efficiency of the machine and but uh, the nice thing about these machines is because it has three slots we can use the regular efficiency modules and get the minus 80 percent whereas with a regular machine with an assembling machine too you can only get 60 percent with the regular efficiency modules so we can actually get this machine down to 42 kilowatts which is less which is actually half the amount of power than even an assembling machine one that does, that can't be modified, right? So that's pretty amazing. And 0.36 for pollution, which is even better. And it still maintains that crafting crafting speed. It is absolutely incredible. So uses like no power. So we're just going to quickly, whoops, ah, blast. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, so there we go. We're going to do this. Uh, now, the problem with that is it's, when, when you do the click on the uh, screen on this screen it actually automatically are puts four efficiency modules and it really only needs three oops <laughs> so you can go in and remove the last one on each of them it is a bit of a pain in the butt uh, to do this but uh, you'll notice there is no difference between one that has four and three so because your max your limit is 80 percent in any case so there we go we've got that maxed out got five machines uh, all we need to do is plug in our iron so let's do that. Uh, let's go like that and like that. And we're going to throw that on here. There, we've got our iron coming in. That looks really good. Uh, we Oh, yeah, we need to use uh, red belts for sure on this uh, because it's going to it's going to burn through that that material really quickly. You're going to be surprised at how quickly it goes through that material. So let's do that. And we should really use a red underground as well for this one and we really should use red splitters for the other ones um but i'll just uh they take a long time to build i really should build a fact i think i've been talking about building a factory for those for i don't know ages now <laughs> uh we'll get there we'll get there uh in the meantime that's fine that's fine that's that's good okay so let's attach some power to this so as far as power goes um because we've got this nice open spot right in the center here uh, we should be able to configure this. So it's uh, mostly not overlapping. I can't promise that nothing will overlap. But uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, this is this is where I got screwed up. Oh, right. There we go. We can use that one. And we can use... No. No. <laughs> there, there's got to be a way to do this without overlapping any of it. And I'm sure there is. I just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, maybe we... Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. I, I like things even, though. That's not even. That, that bugs me. I suppose I could do an underground belt or something in there. Whatever. That's fine. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we can actually bring that over one. There we go. 
There we go. It's mostly not overlapping. Everything's powered. Good to go. Let's attach this to our main line. And actually, uh, yeah, let's we'll attach it to our main line. Now we need to fix our uh, advanced circuits as well. Yeah. So I don't know if we're going to have enough room. <laughs> I, I really don't. I suppose I, I need to make some modifications to this one anyway, too. So what I might do is shift that down a little bit, um, which, oh, maybe I can't do that either. Oh, bummer. Okay, so... Here is our production line for electronic circuits. And now, shall we, uh, the, the moment you've all been waiting for, what does it look like when I hit P? Now, I know we're using the advanced, and actually we can switch. Let's switch back to the regular um, factories so that we can take a look at the numbers versus what we had before with the same types of factories. So we, just, just so everybody, just to remind everybody, we're using half the amount of factories that we were using before to do the same job. Now, what does that mean in terms of production? Let's take a look. It's had a second to go here now. So, half the amount of factories, and we're producing 176 solid, 176 per minute, with half the amount of factories. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like, talk about efficiency. Well, this is it, right? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very proud of this build. I, I think that's pretty cool. And I'm sure there's a million, well, there's probably hundreds of you guys going right now. I've had that kind of thing forever. I figured it out forever. Well, you know what? I just figured it out. And I don't know. It's pretty cool. And there's probably a better way to do it. But I don't care because I like my way. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. So pretty happy about that. Now, I could build it off to the side. I don't know. Uh, next order of business, we need to, uh, <laughs> oh, man. What a mess! Uh, okay, so uh, we have to figure out how we're going to put another whole factory in here. <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't know. I think we need to move everything down. Uh, don't suppose there's enough... Oh, uh, well, let's, let's take a look at what... Before I do that, let's see what these factories can do with the new factories. Um, let's put the assembling machine 3s in and see what happens to our production. It should be a substantial jump. So we're at 176 before. Let's just give that a second to uh, kind of get ribbed up. While we're waiting, we'll just uh, put our efficiency modules in and remove the extra on each of them because that's a bit, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, eh? I don't know. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to see where we're at. Let's take a look. 256 per minute. That's amazing. We have two of these systems up and we're going to have over 500 electronic circuits per minute. That's pretty incredible. Now, if we had a whole row of these, like depending on how big a factory you're building, you know, uh, you could really go crazy with it. And uh, it's pretty space efficient. It's it's definitely it, it's a little power hungry because of all the extra blue inserters. But uh, but it's it's definitely space efficient. And uh, I will actually Power-wise, it's not that bad because we're using way less factories and we have way less inserters, I think, in general. Um, I like it. I don't know. It's it's definitely humming. <laughs> definitely humming. Okay, so let's fix... This This episode's all about fixing, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's fix this. Uh, just give me one second. I am going to uh, shift everything a little bit. Okay. Okay, there, I got over myself, and although I do have one little spot that's overlapping, well, a couple little spots that's overlapping, at least the power lines are even. I, I hate the overlapping thing. Oh, I don't know why it bugs me so much, but it bugs me so much. So much! Um, either way, uh, there, it's nice and even. And uh, we cleared everything out here. We're going to be able to make use of this old line. And we're going to actually put the copper right at the beginning. Uh, so it's going to actually exit this unit right here. So all I did was move it up one factory. That gives us enough room to put this extra one in here. And, uh, oh. <laughs> Weird. Uh, just everything's so cramped. And I, I, you know, I'm going to say it again. I think I said it in the last episode. Like, it seems, you know, like, I can't believe how, like, at the beginning, we thought that everything was going to be nice and spaced out and look nice. Why are we not getting, oh, I see. Ah, I see. Okay, so let's, let's fix our copper line first before we go any further. Kind of kind of blocked everything off, which is fine. It's 
fine. It's all good. I suppose we should probably do that after we cut into our line. But we're going to cut into it right away here. Right. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, we might have to do something fancy here. I don't know yet. Because uh, I don't know how many inserters we need to bring in copper. But I, we'll, we'll try it with just one and see if that'll be enough. It might not be in order to get the amount of copper wire that we're going to need to get off of this, uh, this one poor little uh, uh, factory. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. So that one's going to be bringing it in. And then we're going to have two bringing them out, I think. So two inserters going out. Like so. Perfect. Okay, that looks great. And... Like so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Okay. And we'll just make sure this... Yeah, all that... Okay, good. And okay, so that's all we need to do for the copper wire. We'll just get that set up. And we'll put down the rest of our factories. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect fit. And of course... I'm going to have to mess with... Uh, ah, blast. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to fast forward while I put everything down here again. Okay, I'm actually going to, I'm moving this splitter, I'm, or this, uh, this fork, the, the, so we're, we're merging the, uh, the, uh, smart inserters and the steel here for our blue science pack production, but, uh, it's in the way. So I'm actually going to make a little modification so that it just, oops, oh, there is flight, <laughs> leading up to robots. I'm, I'm. Like I said, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm terrified of it. Uh, okay, so uh, let's do uh, lab, lab efficiency. Why not? That's That'll take a while. And, uh, yeah, we should be able to just go like that. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure here. Actually, I wonder if we merge it together up here. Ah, there, there. That's the answer. I think that's the answer. Let's let's see if we can make that work here. So let's do the merge. We're gonna take the steel out here. Yeah, take steel out there. Then it can rebalance there. And then maybe bring this guy straight up instead yeah yeah now we're on to something and it can actually go like that and uh, perfect yeah look at that beautiful you're like I don't see it there you go just like that uh, whoa 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 that, that's not what I had in mind uh, okay uh, whoops I guess we're gonna have to go like that that's fine. That works. There we go. Let's clean that up a little bit. Now, see, the problem is, uh, when, it, when you get a funny curve like that, sometimes it does get jammed. We may have to come back, or rather than risk having to come back, we're just going to put it up even further. Or can we? I don't know that we can risk it. Uh, well, let, let's, let's bring it up one more. Whoops. Let's go like that. That means we're going to have to do a rebalancer for the green circuits right here, because that was a rebalancer that I just took out. So we'll do that. And, uh, <laughs> look, we've made a mess. Yay. Okay, there we go. That's, whoops. <laughs> Get a little excited sometimes, and I put things, uh, somewhere... I shouldn't. There we go. Like that. Perfect. And clean up this mess a little bit. That can curve out like that. There. Then I don't have to worry about that getting stuck. When you get the funny curves like that, sometimes it doesn't uh, doesn't always work. So there we go. That's that's done. And look at all that space we freed up. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. There we go. And these, these t lines like this, doesn't matter how fast it is, like... 
at least for me for this for this factory it doesn't matter so there we go that's done and uh then that'll allow us to push this and we'll probably oh well let's let's put down our oil thing first actually no that doesn't matter yeah yeah like so perfect and then we can do our rebalancer here like so excellent excellent very nice okay so let's fix the oil that we messed up oh okay well in that case what we can do is move this rebalancer back one <laughs> Uh, I, I hope. I, I, is anybody out there still watching? I know you guys. I, lots of you guys are actually still watching. You guys yell at me when I don't do Factorio um, all the time, and uh, I apologize. Sometimes, you know, I have to do other things. But uh, uh, I guess we'll do another one here and another one here. Look at that! It all works. It's coming together. Ah, beautiful! It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay. Uh, let's put the power lines. I, you know what? I, I sometimes I just have to accept that I'm gonna have crossing power lines. <laughs> it just becomes uh, becomes really hard to avoid, actually. So I have to get over myself sometimes. I, it just doesn't look as nice, you know. I just I just I like things that are nice and even, but you know sometimes you just you can't make it work. I, I suppose I could move. I suppose I could yeah I could, I could totally make it work, but then you know then. Then my inserters are not even, you know? Why 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 is why are the power lines more important than the inserters to make look nice and even and square and I don't know. It's just me. It's it's all in my head. It's things that I think I need to do to make make myself happy and you guys happy. Uh nope. Uh I think if we do that. Yeah, see that is not crossing. Ugh. Blast. <laughs> there we go just like that okay so let's set this up that is advanced circuits done 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 look at that beautiful thing and it is powered uh, fueled by the copper wire factory at the end so this one copper wire factory should have no problem supplying um, everything that this these guys need and uh, could use a rebalancer there. There's actually no room for it. No, no, that's fine. That that'll be fine. I think that'll work just great. Yes. Okay. So we are gonna have to upgrade these factories too. Um, and actually, that's really important because we are gonna need lots and lots and lots of advanced circuits. Well. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll do a speed build. Oh, oh, uh, actually, before we go any further, uh, there is something else I can do here. So this guy uh, needs plates and gear wheels, and this guy needs just plates. So, actually, I don't know why we split this up. Let's, let's, let's fix this really briefly, too, as well, <laughs> while we're here, because it's messy, and I don't like it, and we've got multiple stuff on one belt, and sometimes that's okay, and sometimes, sometimes it's, it's, it's just, it's just crappy. It's, it's not good. So, oh. Oh, I see what I did. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Back when I was young, way back in the day, what was it, like two months ago? Or a month ago? I don't know. When did, I'm not even sure when we started this whole... Uh, there we go, there's that. And uh, we can bring the other one down kind of right beside it. Whoops. There we go, like so. Ooh, I don't like all those curves, though. It's not that big of a deal we can say so, you know you can always uh just stick a red belt in there and that'll help keep things moving it's like a bowels like your bowels you got to have some fiber in there too to keep things moving uh, i'm not really a big fan of that actually i i really think that i'm gonna have to move things even more because uh or alternatively what would make even more sense is that we do a um uh whatchamacallit ah blast uh, these guys, the gear wheels. We do a gear wheel factory at the beginning here, and that one gear wheel factory will provide for this entire row, which is actually what I've been doing with most of my games nowadays, but whatever. Uh, for now, it's fine. I'm going to speed build the rest of this, and... Uh no, actually, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to build another... I don't, first of all, there's no room. I don't have enough room here to build another setup like this down here. Secondly, um... Everything seems to be running pretty good right now, and we are full. Like, look, our belt filled right up. 
And the funny thing about it is we're using less power doing it. Isn't that great? We are going to be using more materials doing that, but we have lots of materials right now. I think we're going to leave this open. We're going to save this spot for maybe some robots or something over here. Like, we can, we can certainly make use of this space. Um, but look at all that space we freed up. I love it. I love it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call that an episode. Oh, looks like uh, I lost some power lines up here, too. Oh, great. Great. That just adds to my uh, crazy. Okay, guys, we're going to call that an episode. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm loving making it. Take care.